Hey, what's up guys? Just a quick video today showing you guys some of the best things you can install on the brand new jailbreak. So you guys know what to do if you enjoy videos like these. Let's get directly into things. Tweaks and sources are located down below in this video's description. So as you guys can see, I'm using my iPhone 6s Plus but I have all of the native iPhone XS gestures, accessing multitasking, even summoning Surrey with the power button now on this device. And this is all done with Neptune. Next up, I have the famous dark mode, entirely free with the tweak called Dune. Now it customizes the entire system UI from the dock to the folders, to the widgets, to the notifications. So the really cool thing with Neptune is once you have that installed, then you can install other iPhone 10, 10s Max tweaks like Jumper right here. So I can use that toggle right there to jump directly into the Messages app. Also on the lock screen, I have Lisa installed to give a brief overview. Just tap to get everything back and again, swipe up with Neptune to go to the home screen. And very lastly, I have the tweak called Jellyfish to give this custom time right here at the top with leave me alone, so do not disturb does not have that notification, just has that little moon icon. Now, all of these tweaks work on iOS 12.2, but I still do have a lot installed on my 10s Max, so I'm gonna go ahead and demo them on this device. Next up, we have floating dock right down here to bring the iPad style dock to the iPhone. You also have awesome gestures to go to the lock screen, to go to the control center, just like that. So along with Dune, another alternative is called Notifica to give you guys new notifications as well as colorize your widgets, colorize your notifications, and you can have these be separate and uh, they look pretty awesome all in all. Next up, we have either 13 HUD to bring the iOS 13 style volume HUD to iOS 12, or my personal favorite is called Sonos 12, which places the volume HUD indicator right here up in the top left status bar. So next up, we have Safe Shutdown. It's an awesome tweak to add more options here, but the really cool thing is, on its own, once you guys reach 5% battery, it's actually going to put your phone in an ultra low power mode state. So when you guys finally get around to plugging it in, you won't have to re-enable your jailbreak. Once your phone is charged enough, it will wake up in its jailbroken state. I just really love music tweaks, guys. We got a couple going on here. We have Sylph on the home screen to bring a smaller UI to the lock screen music controls. We also have next up two to uh, basically pick and choose what song is coming up next on your queue. Just select a song and then click next. Then we also have Mashuda Infinity right here at the bottom to bring this awesome music visualizer to iOS. Of course, one of my favorite all-time tweaks for iOS 11 and iOS 12 is called Better CCXI, which basically just redesigns your control center. I also have Magma Pro going on here to colorize these toggles, but one that I wanted to share with you guys is called Power Module, which quickly lets you respring right from the control center. So if you guys want an all new redesigned settings app, there's three tweaks I have for you. One's called Shuffle to basically bring tweaks right here in its own category at the very top. We also have circle settings to redesign those logos. And then we have better settings that redesigns everything else and adds a dark mode to the settings app. Still, this one will never get old. It's called Zenth, where you can hide other applications behind a main application so I can have all my social media together. I can have Google Maps right below Apple Maps and things like that. Anyway, that one's called Zenth. Again, with the redesigned home screen layout, you have tweaks like Iconator 11. There's also Boxy 3. That's the one I'm using just so I can quickly redesign the look of it right here on the fly. And this one's pretty minor, but if you guys notice in the background, I don't have any icon labels. Well, when I begin to scroll, the labels quickly appear and then they disappear when I'm no longer using them. And that one's called Shy Labels. So next up, we have Bubbles to completely redesign the Messages app. You have these awesome bubbles right here on the message pane, but within them, you also can colorize your message bubbles themselves. 
And another one directly within this app is called Whoops. So when you go to send a message, you have a three second countdown before the message is actually sent so you can cancel it if you have a spelling mistake or if you didn't mean to send it. Again, right here on the keyboard, if I swipe up, I have copy log, which basically is just a clipboard history manager. So as you guys can see, I have 60 snippets that I can go back and quickly paste once more directly into my message thread. And I thought this one was a pretty cool one. So Homelist has been updated. So you have the Apple Watch interface on the very last page on your home screen. Or if you guys wanna take this to a whole nother level, we'll end this video on a brand new tweak that just came out and it's called Honey. It really does bring the Apple Watch interface to an iPhone. So if that's something you guys wanna do, there's a tweak to do it now. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. We have some more awesome content coming later this week, but until next time guys, this is Tony signing out. So with a brand new jailbreak out, one of the very first tweaks that I like to install is called Swipe for More. Now this, when you go into actually installing tweaks, this lets you queue up tweaks super quickly and lets you install multiple at the exact same time. Or in contrast, you can actually queue up these tweaks to actually delete them all at once as well. You can see how quickly they're added to your queue. So you can quickly install and uninstall tweaks as well. Now, next up, we have this tweak called Flame. And this one is one of my personal favorites. It allows you to batch add sources. So as you guys can see, I can click batch mode right here. Now, any sources that are currently in my iPhone's clipboard, it will automatically be added to my sources list. At the same time, as you guys can see, I have a ton of sources already installed on my iPhone 10. If I wanted to quickly export this list and send it over to my iPhone 5S, I can go to installed. And here in the top left, right here, I can quickly export my tweak and source list. Another great feature of Flame. And Flame's really cool because you can do some minor UI changes as well, like changing this blue highlight accent as well as the top to red or any color you want. So Flame is just a great tweak to have. All right, well, aiming at older device users like the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 that have an older processor, another great tweak is called Animations Be Fast. Now, this basically just speeds up all of the iPhone's animations from turning on your device, from going to the home screen, and it just makes it feel really fast. Even on this iPhone 10 right here, it's a lot faster than what it normally would be. And within the tweak settings as well, you can customize all of these speeds individually. So that is just a great one to make your device feel super speedy. Now, while we're on the home screen, how I got this three by eight column layout, if you guys wanna change your icon layouts, basically one of my favorite tweaks is called Boxy 3. This lets you choose a custom layout and then when you double tap on the home screen, you can actually adjust uh, this icon padding as well. Um, so you can make your icons exactly how you want them on your device. I really like I really like this three by X layout on smaller devices. I mean, even the iPhone 10, that one's a pretty big device, um, but especially for the iPhone 5S's screen size, instead of four icons, I really like to have three. Anyway, that one's called Boxy 3. Let's move on. So while I have this custom layout going on, I also have a few more things as well. I have Snowboard to give my icons this custom theme. And like 90% of my videos out there, the theme that I'm using and sticking with is called Lotus. I also have this tweak called Clean Home Screen to basically clean up my home screen and get rid of icon labels, page dots, and things like that. So that's a great one to have handy as well. Looks super sweet getting rid of all that clutter on your home screen. All right, well, moving on to a little bit more customization. One of my favorite ones, again, is called Noctis 12. Now, this basically just brings a dark mode to your iPhone. So things like the settings app, like I was showing you, and pretty much all of your third-party apps as well can take advantage of dark mode on iOS 12. And we actually have a separate video dedicated just to that if you guys wanna see some more dark mode tweaks. But as you guys can see, my dock is even dark. It looks absolutely awesome. And again, this is floating dock going on down here. This also works on the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 as well. Basically brings the iPad dock two iPhones, another great tweak to have handy. Really the biggest area I could see for improvement on iOS 12 is within the control center. This tweak right here is called Better CCXI and it basically brings this 
awesome control center to your device. So you have this awesome music widget, this really condensed uh, toggle widget at the top. You have a nice weather going on. And then another one right here that I really wanted to show you guys is called power module. Now, one of my favorite things to get on your device right after you jailbreak is a very quick way to respring. And so you have a respring option right there. And this is actually one in the top left right there without even going into the platter itself. But as you guys can see, you can enter safe mode, reboot, power down, lock screen, clear UI cache. So a great tweak to have right there that works directly with better CCXI. All right, let's go back to the home screen.